All right, guys, so we're just gonna do a quick city update today. We don't have a ton of updates, but I do wanna show you some of the stuff we're working on. If you guys aren't aware and don't follow us on Instagram, we did have an emergency situation in the family this week, so we had to fly out to Arizona to help out with that. And uh, we just got back yesterday, so therefore, it kind of it put a dent in this week's plans for the city. So that's why there wasn't a ton of progress made, but let me show you kind of what we're working with. So for starters, Miss AFL TV built the diner finally, which is awesome because it looks great in the city. The only problem is if I zoom out, you can see it's much smaller than the rest of our builds. And don't mind the chaos, we're still going through all the cars right now. But um, basically, we're probably gonna end up moving this. Originally we wanted it right here, but I think we're gonna relocate it to elsewhere in the city because it just doesn't fit in with the rest of the skyline over here. And for this area in general, um, as you can see, we're kind of still going through everything and laying everything out. but. We have the bricks finally to build the new extension of the hospital. So hopefully we'll get to that this week. It was supposed to be this week, but ironically we were in a hospital, so we did not get to build the hospital. Also, thank you to everybody who sent messages checking in on a family member. He is recovering, which is great. So really appreciate all of the comments and uh, direct messages. That was really nice of you guys. But anyway, as I move down to the downtown core area, you can see that a lot of the buildings um, are now in their final resting place with the exception of down here. This is gonna change once the new area over here is finished. But um, we've been working on finishing the streets and putting everything together. We have a whole box of uh, traffic lights and signals to install over here. So that'll probably go in this week. We also started working on the beach. So we lined up um, the old like Art Deco pier that we had. So that goes kind of off this main corridor right here. And then we started repairing uh, the beach wall. So like over here, there's a huge chunk taken out, which we've now fixed. And then moving down, um, you can kind of see where things are starting to come together down here. So this has kind of been the biggest project as of late. And what this is, I know it's kind of chaos right now, but we're working through building. Um, so as you can probably see, there's the rock jetty and that's gonna continue over here. And there's another one right here. And we're trying to build either a drawbridge or some sort of cool bridge that'll go right here with the water going through. And what we're doing is we're having the bike path curve around and go through a tunnel right here, which will connect to the other side. And so then the jetties will form kind of a nice area for the boats to go through. Um, you can see we've already started tiling some of the water below, and then we have some of the new water laid out over here. So this area is a huge work in progress, and it's definitely a clutter right now, but um, we're getting through it. We repaired the beach wall over here, still have some more to finish off over this way. We added the palm trees back. And then down here, if you can see, we also added this a uh, little rock jetty area with the beach wall built on top because over here is gonna be um, the new beach town. So we needed to kind of section that off in a way. What that's gonna do is it's actually gonna create, so a jetty right here, a jetty right here, and this whole little area right here is gonna be the surfing beach. So we're gonna have a bunch of surfers set up. Um, you can kind of see the big waves coming in, uh, but that's where all that's gonna be once it's cleaned up. Outside of that, we've been working on the airport a little bit. We've been building out the new runway area, so I don't wanna give away too much, but that's gonna be right here. Um, the airport's coming together as well. As you can see, just pure chaos that way, but we are organizing and getting through everything, I promise, um, so, but it's just a big work in progress. But moving back to the city, once the beach is cleaned up, the thought process is to um, fill in right here with more water kind of connecting to the beach hotel. We're probably gonna do another jetty right here just to kind of connect everything. Down here is gonna be the new fun zone. And so what we're gonna do is redo all of this. This is all gonna be scraped, and then we're gonna do a new kind of pier area with boat docks, Ferris wheel stay, new shops, kind of tying it into um, this area down here. So again, down here will kind of be South Beach, Miami. And I just wanna point out, so that's an official modular, which I know we talked about earlier, but it's crazy to see the size comparison to uh, some of our other buildings. Kind of gives you a sense of the scale since you can't see it in person. So outside of the city, what else have we been working on? Well, we have actually been working on some projects outside of the city as well as some new designs and new products added to our website. Um, but for starters, let me show you what we've been working on uh, as a physical build outside of the city. The first new thing is our new Amazon delivery van. So this is an upgraded version of our old one. And if I walk over, I can kind of show you our other guys hiding back here, waiting to go back into the city. Um, still need to add stickers to this. This was supposed to be stickered this week, but again, we had to uh, leave due to an emergency. Um, but anyway, this is now on our website. The great thing about this is it actually costs less, even though it's bigger than the old one. Um, we used different and easier to find pieces for this guy. 
So the old one over here, if I pick it up, uses these blue fenders, which when we first came out with this, it was a lot easier to find. However, now they've gotten a little bit more expensive, so we wanted to come out with a new version. Um, I think this cost roughly 40 bucks to buy all the parts. So it's a lot, lot cheaper, which is great. And it's a really good size too. I mean, it just goes well in the city. So we're gonna sticker that soon. It's gonna look great. And this is the other build we've been working on. We finally finished our McDonald's build, which if you aren't familiar with this one, we do have instructions on our website. It's a lot of fun to put together and it uh, came out really cool. We're gonna do a whole video on this. So stay tuned, there'll be a dedicated video. But what's cool is we did uh, brick built logos throughout. So um, the McDonald's logo is actually made of bricks, which is sweet. And it's got a lot of the exterior details that you'd find in um, a typical McDonald's. And what's cool too is it's modular. So this entire roof section uh, comes off to access the interior. And we've got a little ordering screen in the back here. So anyway, stay tuned for a video for this one because uh, it's gonna be really cool. We'll do a full tour, show you the inside and everything. But that's pretty much it for this week, guys. Um, again, thanks for following along. Sorry, it's not more of an update. We did have that family emergency, but uh, we'll be getting back to it this week and hope to have a much bigger update this coming weekend. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.